In this video we will show how to use predefined layouts for plotting NMR results with Topspin. Plotting in Topspin can be quite complex. The plot editor is somewhat challenging to work with, but it is very customizable. We will try to cover some of what the editor can do in a later video, but for now we are recommending that you start plotting with our predefined layouts. The first step in plotting is to define the chemical shift region you want to plot. It is much easier to do this in the data window than in the plot editor. The exact zoom button is the best way to expand the region. Click on the button and enter the range you want. Next enter the plot editor by finding the plot tab and left clicking it. This is the plot editor. To the right is the page layout where you will find your spectrum in a what you see is what you get format. This is how the printed page should look like. To the left is a control panel. The control will change as you click into the page layout. If you find it like this, you can return to the main panel with the small upward pointing blue triangle at the top. If for any reason the chemical shift scale is not what appeared in the data window before you entered the plot editor, click on the hand icon in the section labeled limits in the view area. The main control panel will show you the active plot layout. For Proton the default is called 1D underscore H with the file extension of .xwp. The 1D underscore H layout will include the integration curves and values under the spectrum but will not include the peak labels. This is because Proton spectra could have many peaks and therefore can give a very crowded plot. We have layout choices for other options. To access the other predefined layouts, you need to click the button with the down pointing black triangle that is next to the layout label. This will open a dialog box. Choose open. For working with the predefined layouts, you should always answer yes to the discard changes question box. The list of layouts includes many that are included with the topspin distribution. The more important ones are described in our topspin manual. For plots that you want to include the peak labels but not the integrals, you would choose either the 1D underscore BB or the 1D underscore X layout. These are the default for experiments like carbon and phosphorus. As you can see the page layout changes to reflect the new choice. Going back into the layout choice we can see an option called 1D underscore peaks plus integrals. We created this for giving you the option to plot both the peak labels and integrals. After you made your layout choice, or if you just accepted the default layout, you can use the mouse scroll wheel or the button bar to adjust the vertical scale. However, you cannot use the tools to adjust the chemical shift scale so you should make this choice before you enter the editor. When you are happy with the appearance you can send the output to the printer by clicking on the downward pointing triangle next to the print label, and choose print. Then click OK on the dialog box that comes up. You can exit the plot editor by clicking on the spectrum tab. This is how you plot with the predefined layouts. If you need more customized output or electronic image files of spectra please see the staff for help. Thanks for watching.